Adjusting the conveyor speed. The speed of the conveyor greatly affects the cleaning ability of the surf rake. Faster belt speeds help the surf rake remove smaller material, while slower belt speeds are optimal for removing large, bulky material. The speed of the conveyor belt is directly tied to the speed of the PTO shaft and engine. Therefore, as the tractor's engine's RPMs, or revolutions per minute, increase, the conveyor speed will increase as well. Most tractors indicate the optimal PTO operating zone on their tachometer. It is also possible to slow the conveyor speed by reducing the flow of hydraulic oil to the conveyor's motor by constricting the flow control. This would be appropriate when removing large amounts of seaweed or other big materials. To do so, just move the lever on the flow control to half. It is important to remember that since the conveyor speed of the surf rake fluctuates with the engine speed, you'll want to keep it as consistent as possible to ensure even cleaning. Therefore, we recommend using the hand throttle to keep the engine's rate at one consistent speed instead of the foot throttle, which is harder to control. Instead of using the throttle, use the gears to control the tractor's ground speed. The optimal ground speed for the tractor depends on the size and nature of the materials you want to remove, as well as the sand conditions. Barber's operation videos will get more into how to adjust your conveyor and tractor ground speed to suit your beach's specific needs.